One of the oldest portions of Sarasota Memorial Hospital is coming down, paving the way for a new addition to the campus. SNN's Kelly Rittenauer has the story. It's really unbelievable. Maria DiCarlo is the VP of Rehabilitation and Post-Acute Services. DiCarlo says they're paving the way for a new $50 million rehabilitation pavilion. I've been at the organization a really long time and we've talked about this for many years. So to actually see the Redder building coming down makes the entire thing very real for all of us, our staff, our patients, everybody is very excited. The four floor pavilion replaces a 30 year old comprehensive rehab unit housing 34 beds in semi private rooms. When we move into the new building, we will have 44 beds, all private rooms, very patient-centered. We're really looking at the architecture to be soothing, calming, engaging, motivating, um, because we're dealing with patients that have life-altering conditions. Tom Perigo, SMH Director of Architecture and Construction, says planning has been a critical part of this project. We're right on schedule and right on budget, so yeah, I couldn't be happier about uh, the way the project is progressing. Officials tell me they hope to have this phase of the project done by the end of the month. We started demolition about eight weeks ago and we'll complete it by the end of this month. Construction of the 74,000 square foot rehab pavilion begins early this year and is slated to be completed in December of 2016. Reporting in Sarasota, Kelly Rittenauer. SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Hospital spokeswoman Kim Savage says a groundbreaking ceremony is planned for next month.